Hello people, in this video we are trying to solve the general surgery latest final year question paper of our university using, using what? Using ChatGPT. Yes, let's see if ChatGPT will be able to solve our uh, uh, university paper. So where's the first question? Here's the first question. Etiology, please zoom a little. Etiology, pathogenesis, clinical features, diagnosis, management of locally advanced breast carcinoma. So here, let's first go step by step. Etiology of uh, locally advanced breast carcinoma. We will try to ask and see if it will be able to give the etiology. So here I'm typing etiology of breast car carcinoma let's not confuse it with locally advanced as of now okay so here's the answer it is trying to give breast carcinoma or breast cancer is uh, developing in breast tissue it is caused because of genetic and environment factors what are the genetic factors okay it's saying age is first as the woman gets older there can be carcinoma gender family history genetics certain mutations like brca1 brca2 okay then family history we did we mention gender okay yeah it's more common in women than men okay so men can have it too okay then personal history um if they have in one breast they can get in the other is it okay hormones um, high levels of estrogen and progesterone exposure to radiation okay then yes are you focusing the causes of breast carcinoma it's trying to say we have to catch up with it okay so this is what it is saying for uh, breast carcinoma now let's do one thing we'll go one step further and ask it how about asking the etiology of locally advanced breast carcinoma because that is what the question paper demands okay here goes the question press on enter so locally advanced means what LABC okay so it has spread to the nearby tissues okay but it has not gone to the distant parts it's not metastasized metastasized yet okay so again same thing age okay come on tell me LABC locally advanced why same thing come on you should be giving me better answers same thing hormones same thing personal no how is this locally advanced locally advanced should have been something like a neglected case right ah, delayed diagnosis now it has it makes sense delayed diagnosis guys focus here this is the cause of the locally advanced okay then some di di breast cancer can be diagnosed only at an advanced stage okay then that's it delayed diagnosis some subtype of breast cancer which is detectable only at an advanced stage okay very good now shall we just directly jump to the management management of locally advanced breast carcinoma okay shall we go to this how is it going so far guys are you able to get some information from chat gpt see we don't want um, what we are not looking for is a uh, Google type of multiple pages and multiple answers. We want single answer, right? That is why we are we have come here. Okay, now let us ask uh, the management management of locally. If I say locally advanced breast carcinoma, will it be able to tell based on what I have already asked earlier? Yes, it knows. The management of locally advanced breast carcinoma depends on the stage of the cancer and the individual patient circumstances, including their age, health. Okay and uh, the goal is there chemotherapy is often used to shrink the tumor okay chemotherapy guys then what else surgery okay so it's not telling what surgery mastectomy okay mastectomy removal of the entire breast okay lumpectomy okay only the tumor and a small uh, amount of radi radiation therapy hormone therapy if it is hormone receptor positive okay then targeted therapy what do you do in targeted therapy the target the her2 protein clinical trials for new treatments oh my god okay see what i'm saying is this much if you write chemotherapy surgery radiation chemotherapy, you will not get marks mastectomy has to be so detailed you have to draw diagrams which chat gpt is not doing right so you need to talk about lumpectomy mastectomy more details you have to draw the diagram of the breast etc okay for this uh, treatment part of it it is quite um, uh, low in content how's it going people so choose the next question uh, which you think chat gp should be challenged chat gpt should be challenged with hydatid cyst of liver okay 
subdural hemorrhage do you want to ask about subdural hemorrhage short essay thyroglossal cyst types of gallstones mesenteric cyst intersusception ureteric calculi management of carcinoma prostate varicocele ectopia vesicae what is ectopia vesicae what i don't like about chat gpt is this window is so much at the bottom you know so it's very difficult for um, us to uh, bring the what you know see the recording window has to come so much down that can be a feedback that you give them okay what were we trying to ectopic what is it ectopia vesicae is it vesicae was that it ectopia vesicae god it's just running up and up wait ectopia vesicae is a rare congenital abnormality in which the bladder is located outside the body i wish i could highlight this copy link to highlight okay i can't highlight it right here bladder is located outside the body ectopia so something is in the wrong place vesicae vesic vesic what do you call the bladder bladder vesico ureteric reflux so vesicle refers to that and is it okay fine so at least if you know what it is now you will be able to elaborate so we had to write a short essay so symptoms are there abnormal bulge treatment surgery obviously it's a surgery paper so it will be a surgery only right so pediatric surgeon is necessary because obviously it is a congenital condition looks like so this much is a good information but it is not enough you always have to draw diagrams in the exam okay people look at the short answer questions this is for 3 marks so uh, what do you want to ask the chat gpt our glass stomach calyx triangle calyx triangle i think you know right the gall bladder around not let's not go there but if we ask calyx triangle will it come up with a diagram wait let's see calyx triangle come on why are you taking time calyx triangle is a triangular area of the abdomen that is bound by the cystic duct common hepatic duct and the liver's lower margin it is important lan anatomical landmark in surgery particularly cholecystectomy which is surgical removal of the gall bladder it is important why is calyx triangle important because it contains a cystic artery very very important it supplies the blood to the gall bladder and the cystic duct also is there here cystic artery and cystic duct are there here okay so that is why you should be very careful in identifying this and dissecting the exposed artery and you have to expose the artery and the duct okay very important if you damage it what will happen bleeding bile leaks damage to the liver duct liver or bile ducts etc so that is why it's an important landmark however i want diagram of calyx triangle let's see um how's it going people shall we challenge it yeah diagram of calyx calyx triangle please Unfortunately I am an AI language module I am not able to provide diagrams however you can easily find an image of calyx triangle by searching it online high quality medical illustrations okay maybe it has some um, what do you say uh, uh, what the copyright issues that is why it is not able to give otherwise uh, it can just pick it up from there and give us what do you say how's it going people do you want to ask chat gpt any more uh, rg which is university final year surgery paper questions I'm quite tempted to ask all of these so let's go one by one here uh, hourglass stomach hourglass stomach let's ask h o u r g l a s s s t o m a c h hourglass stomach hourglass stomach is a medical condition in which stomach is abnormally shaped for forming a narrow hourglass like construction in the middle of the organ the condition is known as gastric waste waste of stomach the exact cause is not understood okay maybe congenital okay So basically I will try to draw something here let it keep typing. So our glass means it's like this, correct? This is our glass. So the stomach has a constriction in the middle, right? So how will you do physical examination you have to check and our glass how will you treat obviously this is a surgery paper. Okay, conservative treatment is also there like dietary change. Interesting. So it's not just surgery. severe cases only surgery is necessary okay very good something to uh, some feeling is there that without images this feels a little uh, difficult to understand how can you understand medicine without images right so what is your uh, feedback people okay next question here is ischiorectal abscess this sounds very much like a clear cut question so you, i don't think we need to go there However, let's use this question as a way to compare uh, the different um, uh, search engines, etc. So basically, this is the answer it is giving. It's just an abscess collection of pus. Pus. You can give antibiotics. You can try to drain it. <clears throat> exactly. 
you do an mri ultrasound etc etc basically this is a very um, uh, dry answer let's look at google's answer see it is also called as anorectal abscess looks like right and it talks about the image google comes with image it tells you where in all the abscess are correct how do you treat look at all this so beautiful so many images isn't it look at this people <clears throat> there are so many abscess in your rectal in that ischio rectal is here that is <clears throat> here's your rectum and here your where is ischium is the bone right ischium ischio so somewhere here should i use a better color for you this is the abscess ischio rectal abscess so there are many types of in your rectal abscess looks like okay so that is what it is google is very nice images so our question papers always say isn't it um draw diagrams wherever necessary look at that let's check up see draw neat label diagrams wherever necessary this is where there is no marks for uh, our uh, uh, chat gpt okay but would you use chat gpt hmm. okay let's look at dietal crisis now let's start focusing on the treatment because we are seeing that it is lacking in that one it is still sending the sending the message or what what is this okay dietal crisis refers to medical emergency oh it's an emergency that can for hold on hold on rupture of kidney spontaneous rupture of kidney or or urinary tract so stone leading to urine extravasation and development of acute abdomen this condition is named after the urologist dietal okay so what will you do you have to do prompt diagnosis treatment prevent serious complications like sepsis and you have to prevent <coughs> kidney damage okay so you have to stabilize the patient okay that and all we'll do but you have to do a ct or an ultrasound to confirm the diagnosis then what will you do medical management how can you do medical management in addition to medical management surgical intervention may be necessary to remove the stone and repair any damages okay medical management <clears throat> how will medical management help google says that it is just an obstruction nothing about rupture always better to check with the textbook in this case dietal crisis intermittent hydronephrosis calculus hydronephrosis so what is happening there is water uh, in the kidney because it is not able to come out all right so hydronephrosis because of calculus looks like right so this is the kidney please give me a pen okay so here's the kidney and uh, because of some calculus here there is uh, water in the kidney which will then become pyonephrosis so this is hydronephrosis following the attack of renal colic ureter obstruction uh, uh, due to stone so what will happen um, what are they saying <clears throat> enlargement of the pelvis of the kidney yes that is because of the urine collection so after a few hours the mass dip disappears on passage of a large quantity of urine or due to the slipping of the stone my god so there really there's nothing about rupture at all mentioned in dietal crisis chat gpt will fail the mbbs exam let us see at least if it will pass neat pg uh, next exam next for pg entrance following are features of dietal crisis except except okay so you have to give the wrong wrong one you have to choose highlight yeah what's happening is hung it is called it is called intermittent hydronephrosis this is correct statement it is usually seen in calculus hydronephrosis this is also correct it does not produce a mass it produces a mass that's what we happens it happens due to slippage of stone no 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 it goes away because of slippage of stone or it does not produce a mass which of this it produces a mass right in the kidney so i have a feeling it is c what do you think the answer is yeah the answer is c okay so the answer is c so slippage of stone will produce that uh, uh, mass to disappear so the answer uh, these three which i have highlighted are correct and this one which i have not highlighted is the wrong one so this is the answer okay so now let's do one thing let's go to chat gpt and see if it can answer the mcq okay following are features of dietal crisis except 
The correct answer is D. It happens due to slippage of stone. See, it is saying that it is not due to the slippage of stone. It is due to the rupture of the stone. It still sticks to its philosophy that it is because of rupture. But the textbooks and Google both are telling that it is because of the uh, uh, stone that is obstructing. And then once the stone slips, the mass goes away. Wow. So guys, let us see all the entries of Dietl's crisis from Wikipedia. Hydronephrosis, it sees in Wikipedia. Then this pub med episodic abdominal pain that it comes and goes, the pain. Then uh, if you see encyclopedia.com, again, that is talking about acute obstruction of the kidney causing uh, pain. It has nothing to do with rupture again. Then um, this one also, emedicine.medscape. This also talks about uh, urethropelvic junction. As such, nobody is talking about the word rupture. Rupture could be a very rare entity. That should not be the answer that comes out for you. So what? how many marks are you giving chat GPT for this question in MBBS exam? Chat GPT gets uh, one mark out of three. One is just because it is talking about the right organ that is the kidney. Otherwise, and kidney stones it's mentioning. Otherwise, really, we don't want to give them any marks. Now, we are closing this video. Pinhole meatus is about the urethral opening being very small. Pinhole meatus. Watering can perineum again is about the urethra where the urethral fistulae are there. So, it is like a watering can. The water comes out. The urine comes out. Okay. So, uh, the things as you can, as you see the name, you can know. Uh, renal cell carcinoma, carotid body tumor. You know, if you see these names, you know what it is. One last thing, let's type of paraneoplastic syndrome. First of all, what is paraneoplastic syndrome? <clears throat> it refers to a group of rare disorders that occur as a result of the presence of an underlying cancer or malignancy. Okay, I got the idea. So, what are the paraneoplastic syndromes in renal cell carcinoma? Renal cell carcinoma RCC is a type of kidney cancer. Okay, we got all that. I just want the answer. Several paraneoplastic syndromes associated caused by hormones or substances or by cars, cancer cells. Okay, okay, okay. Please tell. Some can. Okay. Include. Okay. Hypercalcemia. Very important. Okay. So, it can produce parathyroid hormone lead, leading to increased calcium levels in the blood. So, that will cause uh, some bone uh, loss also. Polycythemia. Uh, okay, guys, we are here. Can you focus? Polycythemia, because a uh, lot of RBCs, is it? Erythropoietin. So, it produces erythropoietin. Your kidney produces erythropoietin. Okay, that makes sense. Cushing syndrome, because it can produce adenocorticotropic hormone. Very good question. Three points, you will get three marks, right? Let's see. Oh, Stoffer's syndrome. So, you got four points. It causes the enlargement of the liver. So, you guys, we are here. Stoffer's syndrome. Stoffer's syndrome, okay? It, it's nice that it, when it is typing, it's allowing me to se select also. Hypertension it can cause obviously because kidney <coughs> regulates your blood pressure. That's it. <coughs> Good. So what do you think people? Uh, so we have tried to answer the question paper um, using uh, artificial intelligence. <laughs> so uh, this is a chat GPT review for you. How can chat GPT pass MBBS exam? Bye bye. At least the theory part. Okay. Maybe we should try more MCQs with it. Let's do that in the next video. Bye-bye.